The Begonia trial is a really interesting platform trial of different immune therapy combinations for first-line metastatic triple negative breast cancer therapy. We set it up initially when we had the first data of, of chemotherapy and immune therapy that were positive in, in PD1 positive triple negative breast cancer, but we were trying to improve the outcomes. We had different drugs were tested there, for example, AKT inhibitors, 73 antibody, but ultimately they two drugs that have been, or two combinations that have been most interesting, other combinations with antibody drug conjugates, TDXD and data DXD in combination with Develumab. Now at ESMO 2023, I had the pleasure to present updated data of ARM7 from Begonia. And this is the ARM with data DXD and Develumab data DXD is a top two target in ADC. Develumab is an immune checkpoint inhibitor. It's first line metastatic triple negative breast cancer, so patients hadn't had received any other treatment. We treated a total of 62 patients. Now what's really interesting to look at is the is the characteristics of the of the patient group. Nearly 90% of the patients were PDL1 negative. And, and if you look at the benchmark of efficacy from phase three trials in PD1 negative tumors in Keynote 355 and in Passion 130, the response rates were about 40 to 45 percent with chemotherapy, with, with, with or without immune checkpoint inhibitors. The progression free survival in that group of patients is around five months. What we saw in Begonia, what we saw with data DXD and Develumab was an objective response rate of 79%. Substantially, I could almost say dramatically higher than what we've seen in other studies with chemotherapy in, in, in this setting. We've also seen a highly encouraging progression-free survival of over 13 months, with a duration of response of over 15 months. The data obviously suggests there's a, there's a very powerful signal. The interpretation is unclear at this point in time. Is this down to the antibody drug conjugate? And this bill is currently being evaluated in two phase three trials. Data DXT is in a first line trial against standard chemotherapy in PD1 negative patients, and it's in combination with immune therapy in PD1 positive patients against chemotherapy and immune therapy. But there's a second element to this, which I'm really intrigued in, of, and, and would like to see a bit more data. And this is, is possibly the, the high response rates down to a, to, to a synergistic activity between the ADC and immune checkpoint inhibitors. And can we possibly break through the paradigm that immune therapy and metastatic triple negative breast cancer only works in PD1 positive tumors? So the trial we are hoping to do is a trial of data DXD with Dervalumab, with the immune checkpoint inhibitor, in pd one negative patients and compared with, with data DXD alone. And if that's positive, then we have the evidence that we can widen the target population for patients with, 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 with immune checkpoint inhibitors in, in triple negative breast cancer. So in summary, Begonia trial, ongoing platform trial, but the data presented here of ARM7 with data DXD and Develumab show a substantial, so a high response rate of 79%, PFS of over 13 months, duration of response of 50 months. This, in my opinion, warrants further investigation.